Hi, welcome back. When I was young, it was a family tradition that we ate dinner together every night. Mom would fix a nice balanced meal and Daddy would make sure that we ate it all. And Mom always worked hard. She made sure that we were well fed and that we left no burger unbun. Okay, once Mom had served everyone, all of us, with your three of us and Daddy, she seated herself at the table and either she or Daddy would say a prayer. That's kind of how we did things. No, that's definitely how we did things. And then after the prayer, we ate in total silence. We ate dinner in complete silence throughout the entire meal and none of us dared say a word, not one single word. On the few occasions throughout the years when I would ask mom and dad why we couldn't talk at the dinner table, the response was always the same, we just don't. This was one of the top 10 no-no's. Plain and simple. You just don't talk about eating at the dinner table. And you certainly don't talk with food in your mouth. The years went by and of course I grew up. And my husband at that time had, and I, we had our own family. Okay, so how do you think our children conducted themselves at the dinner table? You're right. If you said they certainly didn't talk, they certainly did not talk at the dinner table. Why? Because you don't talk and eat at the dinner table. There came a point when one of my kids, while still in elementary school, was bold enough to ask me why they couldn't talk at the dinner table. Well, I didn't respond at that minute. And they're like, Mom, why can't we eat and talk at the dinner table? Well, of course you can imagine what I said. Because you don't eat at the dinner table. You don't talk when you're eating at the dinner table. I worked hard to not let my kids go through what I went through and felt as a, as a child that I felt. As long as they were respectful, I allowed them to voice their thoughts and opinions. And if their thoughts and opinions were constructive, I allowed for just about anything to be up for discussion. My parents didn't do that with me. And you didn't discuss anything at the dinner table while eating. So secretly, I feel, my children banded together and the question resurfaced a few weeks later. And this time they respectfully, respectfully asked me for the logic and reasoning for the no talking at the dinner table eating rule. Well, I was in shock, kind of. And after giving them an arsenal of reasons, which made no sense whatsoever, I had to face the harsh reality that we had suffered at the dinner table all those years because of tradition. That's the way I grew up. And I was taught. So I naturally passed on the teachings that I had that were ingrained in me to my children. And my kids and I sat at our little square plastic dinner table with the red, yellow, blue, and green legs. And we looked at each other like the reasons I was giving them were the stupidest things we had ever heard in our lives. I'll never forget that day. I couldn't help but laugh. After another week of painful silence, because I had to, you know, I was mom. I broke the tradition and a world of amazing dinner table conversation hit me. I remember asking my mother the same questions that my children had asked me, and her answer was identical to mine. After a short time, she too realized that she had taught us Her mother and her father had raised her and her sisters and brothers. My children and I broke with a tradition that has forever changed our entire family's dinner table interaction. And what a joy it has brought to many lives. Breaking with tradition is not usually easy, especially when it comes from people that you don't feel have earned the right to change things or those whom you feel don't know as much as you do, but you can't be in tune with the music, the dance, the progress, or the waves of the current time if you yourself are not prepared and willing to break tradition. So let me ask you this, what traditions or tradition are you holding on to? You're here watching this video for a reason. The title must have caught your attention. Or maybe your friend referred you to this particular video so you would be encouraged. If you feel like you're not progressing, it may be because you're still looking for a place to buy a needle for your LP record 
and for your record player so that you can listen to your favorite song. Take a good look inside of yourself. Write down the traditions that you have that are keeping your foundation from being smooth and level. Then move those stagnant traditions out of the areas of your speech, your actions, and your mind so that you can start to build that foundation towards the progress that you desire. And while you're building, don't forget to do what? Drink your water. And I will see you on the next video.